Atheist Republic removes woke admins. After an attempted mutiny by some woke group administrators, Atheist Republic has made dramatic changes in the world's largest private atheist Facebook group. On August 11th, it was discovered that the admins of the group formerly known as Atheist Republic LGBTQ Plus Consulate had changed the name of the group, removed other admin and moderators from the group, and made a disaffiliation announcement without any notice or consultation with Atheist, Atheist Republic admin leadership, essentially stealing a group of over 2,000 members. As a result, the admins who undertook such, such actions were removed from the main Atheist Republic private group, leaving many longtime members confused. Well, right now is the time to set the record straight. Armin, defend yourself. Mutiny from woke DC. Wait, why do I have to? Wait, why do I have to? Okay, so I was accused of being transphobic, right? And being. Wait, what was the post that they got upset about? So here's what happened. This, so let me. This happened actually a couple of years ago. We posted something on the main Facebook page, right? We asked people their opinion about trans issues, and then our LGBT uh, consulate, um, this guy, his name is uh, Kyle. He got so pissed. He was like, "Why are you even asking me?" And he caught, he had this whole. A woke mob coming at me like oh my god why is this even a question it's very interesting because we asked a whole bunch of other we had a whole bunch of other polls um asking people about their views on race issues about human rights things because we wanted to also make sure like because i was also concerned about some transphobia and some racism racism and some other views that our community had and i wanted to post more articles about those issues uh, to see how bad our community is or how good our community is on certain issues, right? Um, so I had these polls, but they got really offended because they thought I was m making it seem like uh, trans people's identity is like even should be even questioned, like just, just putting a poll out there. Like the poll itself wasn't having any, taking any position, but just putting the poll out there to them seemed to be like transphobic, right? Um, and they they got so mad and so triggered and that ever since then the atheist republic um lgbt consulate uh, considered like even before that they think you know a lot of stuff that we post on the main page they consider it toxic and transphobic and racist um but the thing is that kyle who was managing that lgbt group he's also a major admin on our bigger group like the atheist republic's main private group which is 80,000 members. So that LGBT group uh, was like 2,000 members only. And I always thought like that Kyle had managed to get his woke mob to hijack that group entirely. And I always thought like wrote, wrote off that group as completely like they don't even like Atheist Republic. So I didn't even, uh, they hated Atheist Republic. They hated me. Um, a lot of people mentioned that given the admins in Atheist Republic main private group, they, um, given what Kyle's standards are, uh, a lot of the things that I post on my private account will get me kicked out of the private group itself. Um, and I wasn't that more worried about the LGBT group anymore. I was just worried about the fact that the, this kind of ideology was creeping into the main group. That's what the one that I valued because the 80,000 member group. And when uh, he posted some, Carl, I remember posted something um, suggesting that like a couple of years ago that to me, come that as a red flag that he would might, he might want to take over the group. So I re I removed him a couple of years ago as admin uh, to investigate what's happening. Ever, but ever since then, a, a whole bunch of other admins who are not woke, they were like, maybe you take the action a little bit too fast. And Kyle had held that against me that why did you remove me, Armin? You're like a dictator or something like that. But I always expected this is like a rogue admin that is going to go woke any minute, right, at any point. And a couple of years later... It was proven that I was right. Like I, I, people were like, "Oh, I mean, no, Kyle would never do that." They told me, the other admin told me, "No, Kyle would never do that. He would never do that." I was like, "Yeah, I don't know. He he seemed like the kind of guy who would do that." And I was proven right because, again, a lot of people, a lot of these work people in our LGBT council. Again, not all. This is not nothing against LGBT people. That consulate was good until it went woke, right? Like it was we. We, there was a lot of value in that, but it's been taken over by the woke mob. Uh, and I've seen a lot of other atheist groups being taken under by the, this whole woke um, you know, mob. 
And I was like, yes, yeah, seems like it's happening to us as well. And I always wanted an, a reason to cleanse our atheist republic from this whole woke madness. And then when Kyle all of a sudden took over and took over our LGBT consulate and kicked me off, kick, not kicked me off of the consulate group, and he even banned me. He banned, like, blocked me from the group, right? Uh, he posted this. Let me show you guys. This is what he posted. He's saying, hello, a decision has been made to dissolve our membership, our relationship with Atheist Republic. I'm sure more information will be forthcoming. Suffice to say, we don't feel the need to associate with groups that advocate for hatred, uh, politically motiva motivated hom homicide, what? Or criticism of equal rights for all humans. Please feel free to share your honest opinions about this decision. I really want to know where individual members uh, come down on this choice. Feel free to vigorously disagree, but do not break any rules. Um, let me tell you guys, um, we didn't do any of these things that this uh, idiot is mentioning. Like, when do we do any of that? Do you guys know what they're talking about? Like, it's, and also, let me also make it clear. This group was Atheist Republic's consulate. So he's saying like, oh, we don't feel we dissolve our relationship with Atheist Republic. This was not your choice. This was our consulate that they stole, which I'm okay with because i kind of was hoping for something like this to happen because this basically gave me the opportunity to cleanse the group from kyle and his mob and what we've seen in the past couple of days is that once we remove kyle as an admin and banned him a whole bunch of people are like leaving and they think like they have a they're a big deal they're not like the group is 80,000 members like these people are not even like don't add up to much people and by them rage quitting as woke uh, idiots always do they're self cleansing our um main group which is the 80,000 one right so given that i really wanted to cleanse uh, the our main private group so here's the thing our page is 2,400,000 right that is already big, the biggest atheist community out there but our private group with 80,000 is also one of the largest or the largest private atheist group out there right so and i was like this is like a gem that is being like i thought like our private group is like a gem that has been now taken over by woke people like i thought our our facebook page was woke free but our private group which i really valued i thought we lost that to the woke mob but given that what kyle did it gave me finally, the, uh, like, the, I managed to remove him from the main private group with the 80,000 uh, members. And the other admins kind of saw, like, yeah, I was right. We need to, Kyle is toxic. We need to get rid of him. So I think it was great because it was a major, it, it was a good, uh, you know, giving up um, a 2,000 member group that was already taken over by a work mentality. Uh, in and in exchange, we get full control over our eighty thousand group, right? By the way, link to this eighty thousand group is in the description. If you have been banned for woke related standards, uh, please consider joining back in to this group. Now it's going to be the standards are not going to be that strict anymore. I think, uh, given that Kyle is gone, not you're not going to. So I'm I'm hoping so. Consider rejoining. Um, but yeah, we got this back. It's, it was a mutiny, but it was worth it. I was I was happy that this happened. Uh, but it, it, we get a lot of. If, um, I, I might read some other comments by uh, from other people in the group for you guys. We got some screenshots on that. Uh, I just do want to mention that a lot of people keep saying that oh, the atheist um, different atheist group have been taken over by the woke mob, right? Like oh, the atheist atheism has gone woke. Uh, atheist movements communities have gone walk well not this atheist group motherfuckers they like this is the world's lot like no, don't let anybody don't let anybody tell you that atheist the atheist communities have been taken over by wokeism because the world's largest one the world's largest atheist group hasn't been taken over by the woke cult uh, the woke cult right so and and i think th this was also a good opportunity for us to signal that right to now use this as a way to show like look no if, if this atheist group or that atheist group if they if they have um you know bent the knee to the woke cult and they like say like they they think they're too intimidated to stand up against it uh i think 
we're gonna uh, we're gonna use this opportunity and what we've done here to show like no we're we're not, we haven't done that we have cleansed ourselves from this dogma the same way that we cleanse our, have 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 cleansed of ourselves from all other forms of dogma and religion like right? we didn't we didn't abandon religion for us to be fallen into this uh, cult mentality like the woke mob right so I that's... go ahead Shopam I'll say okay so uh, the post Amin made a few years ago like two years ago I was in that group okay until my previous account got zapped for hurting religious people I was in that group and I know what Armin posted and I saw all those I saw his conversations with Kyle in the comment section and everything and I do agree that some of those posts were kind of ignorant but I don't think like any of those posts came from a bigoted point of view like those were mostly genuine questions and he even I if I remember correctly he even finally posted a uh, uh, picture in the lgbtq consulate saying how the fluidity of uh, like gender and how sex is categorized and everything so he made some really good posts after he was explained what he had to know the pre uh, earlier posts were ignorant but i don't think they were bigoted so that's one thing and also like there were some comments which were really really like i don't know what kind of mental gymnastics these people have to do for example some of the comments said i got the screen shots i send them to armin and susanna so they can read the comments too and some of these comments said like atheist public promotes the we good genocide and they support it because they are muslims and i'm like what yeah like, what kind of what kind of mental gymnastics do you have to do to state that because atheist public secular jihad is uh, uh, armin and uh, uh, ali had that and the un guy and we are covering we good genocide like we are condemning it so bad like almost every like week every with some exceptions like every other one we're talking about yeah. i'm like what the hell do and i have this like kind of a long comment so i mean i don't know do you want me to read it or would you want to read it yourself uh, it's kind of supporting atheist republic this one comment which is kind of supportive of wait there was republic. one comment in the lgbt group that was supporting atheist republic yeah not explicitly but it was kind of like it was better than oh. most of the other comments okay, do, okay, do you want me to read it sure 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 okay so this i'm not saying the name but <laughs> this comment said this is something i have had a little of an internal debate about atheist republic the public group is a toxic playground but i don't take it to the heart as it is almost designed that way atheist republic the private group i think does have a sense of moral values at its core but for some reasons has lost oversight like something has gone wrong in the mechanism somewhere i listen to the podcasts so he means this and was i agree sometimes certain language that is used uh, that they should be more careful about i see the podcast components as open accepting and as allies to the lgbt plus community although they do have some banter sometimes that people could take wrong you have to learn a bit of what is satirical jokes amongst them and what isn't really but that disconnect between the acceptance on podcasts and the fb group itself is a very important and badly needs to be addressed so he's saying like the podcast we are doing here is very supportive and accepting for the most part but the groups not so much which i can agree i was in that group uh, back in my teenagers when i was a teenager <laughs> and i was kicked out for that but uh, it uh, there this is why i support atheist republic having an lgbtq plus consulate is because i i am in some consulates and i have been in the private group as well and agree there's a lot of kind of toxic people there and sometimes lgbtq people just want to post something and don't get any backlash for that for example if any atheist post something which is like mocking a religion they won't get much backlash for that from the people in the comments but if a queer person posts something about themselves they if if they are not in a specifically lgbtq plus and allies group they are likely to get All too right. much backlash right, but this gets okay yeah but let's get back to the accusations like i don't understand what do uh, so here's the thing they they say that we support genocide 
uh, which what the hell? Um, I mean, it uh, actually is great because they're so insane. I want them to show how insane they are. Like we have been the things that we say that we are for, like we have been so consistently against that it's just it's it's hilarious that they even say those things, right? Like look at even this is like their 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 cult leader. Look at this. We don't feel the need to associate advocate for hatred look politically like this is a channel that constantly constantly tries to say how fighting islam involves befriending muslims we have had more episodes fighting anti-muslim bigotry than fighting islam so i like yeah great politically motivated homicide what the hell these people are insane criticism of equal rights for all humans we do when do we do that these people are living in la la land like what the hell are they talking about? but this is so beautiful because they're so insane this is the best thing about the world cult because their insanity makes it so easy for us to point out how how far gone these people are Right, like it's we don't uh, Rivka. So I I, I want to talk about that a little bit because they are far gone, but not just in the sense that their ideas are maybe absurd or they don't understand or they're making fanatical claims. They're they're religious in their um, their evangelicalism about trying to get people and to. Uh, convert people to woke wokeism uh they there's wokistani mahajideen that come for people or go after people that they think have you know somehow violated the dogma um there's this right. whole cancel culture thing there so they're going to you know excommunicate you there's there's such a religious element about it and i find it really interesting that this started out what you were saying about atheist atheists and your point about saying you know we reject all this other religious dogma we're certainly not going to adopt the religion of wokeism and the dogma and the rules and the submissiveness that comes with that and you can really see in some of the dialogue that they're having or some of the sort of how dare you, you you know type of comments you're not allowed to say this you guilt by association all these things it's quite religious in nature so i just yeah. wanted to bring bring that up in terms of your how, what you were saying in terms of rejecting it and i'm glad that we did because but, I but this is yeah go ahead Sorry, I, go I certainly don't want to be involved in another you know bunch of people proselytizing to me about right. a, a, some other form of religiosity right so um yeah so but, but so if you guys if you guys are so upset about the atheist community going woke just remember you can continue supporting us with, because we have not gone woke and now we are woke we, we didn't go woke completely but we, now we're completely woke free thanks to kyle but this is what the this is a, one of the great things about the woke cult is that the standards are so ridiculous that they're not as strong of a meme as Islam or Christianity is. That at some point, like they have this core ideology, and some people, innocent people who don't know how destructive and toxic it is, they start following them until they for a little bit, and then they realize, oh my god, what the hell am I following? Right? Because they become they their ideology is so self-defeating that at some point people realize. That they they stepped into doo doo right, and this is what like exactly what happened. It happened so many times, and exact it happened here with Kyle as well. Like the other admins at some point were telling me like, no, Armin, it's okay. Kyle is not that bad until they can't help themselves. They get so triggered by just small jokes here and there, or by a problematic, offensive posts that they don't like, and all of a sudden they do something that the rest of us like. The rest of the people realize, oh, okay. Yeah, you know, so basically what Kyle did is like he gave me the green light to the other admins to, for me to be, because this is an atheist republic, right? I couldn't just, this is why he managed to survive for so long, because I, I didn't want to just take action without the blessings of the other admin. So he had to do something like this for me to be able to cleanse the group. And he was so petty, like it was so funny because he, he didn't just remove me as admin from an atheist republic group, which is not his, he stole the group. He had to block me from the group 
and he was so petty that in the light in the group chat that we have to talk to, to, for all the admins to talk he even kicked me out of there right like he for, he knows that we, i could still talk to the other admin but i asked the other admins like why did he kick me out of there people like i have the, the other admins were like i have no fucking idea like what the hell like they could see how pathetic this guy is right uh, but again they out themselves like this and that's the only hope we have because woke the woke dogma is actually very dangerous and it's really damaging to gay rights movements, to trans rights movements, to women rights movement, because it has hijacked these very important and valuable movements. And because they've hijacked it and they're making it something that it, it originally wasn't designed to do, and they're turning it into something that is completely in against and in, in opposition to all the values that these uh, movements uh, were standing for and all the progress they have made was because of those values that we're holding and basically they're damaging that. And by damaging these values, they're putting more trans people, more gay people, more women, more minority groups, more racial minority, mi minorities, more religious minorities in danger by using these movements just to make themselves feel more significant and signal to the people, to everyone around them that they matter. That's their main purpose, right? To, to become their heroes in their own stories, right? And by doing all of that, they're putting more, I think they're, they're damaging these very important movements, especially trans rights movements that hasn't picked up as much as, it, like women rights, gay rights, minority rights, they have done a lot of progress. The trans rights movement hasn't managed to pick up quite much yet. And the problem is that before it picked up, these woke people are now hijacking it. And I think it's gonna be very, very damaging to the progress that trans right movements can make. But yeah, go. Susanna I think first. they blocked Susanna as well from the group because she asked me to give her a link to the group because she couldn't find it on Facebook. This is this is <laughs> like what? Yeah, so Susanna, <laughs> just because Susanna is friends with me, like she kicked her out of the group. Like this is how this is their standard. This is and they accuse you. These are so pathetic. These That's... people accuse others of intolerance. These people go and say like, oh, the other people are intolerant. And look at what they do. Like, oh, it's so, oh, it's... <laughs> and she didn't, she didn't just kick her out. She, uh, they, uh, they didn't just kick her out. They blocked her. Yeah. She cannot find because the group on Facebook. So that's she's the friends thing, the guilt <laughs> by association. <laughs> and also, you know, Armin, you were saying how people sometimes start to think that these, oh, maybe that's a good idea. Sure, I want all people to be free and be able to be who they are. But the thing I've noticed with this, you know, the folks from Wokadishu is that they're always moving the goalposts. So one day it's here and the next day it's here and the next day and no one is ever pure enough. No one's ever good enough. No one will ever reach the right thought process. And so I feel like it's this just continual self-flagellation that they're also about as well. It's a demand. So, anyway, I, that was my, it's a demand. I actually have. Yeah, they demand, you know, ideological purity that they could never, that no one could, can achieve. Uh -huh. Wait, let me read this by Michael. Michael, Michael is saying, wokeism has been infecting the atheist movement for years. It has derailed the atheist movement by dividing it on gr uh, grounds that has nothing to do with the movement, stay focused, normalize atheism, promote secularism and rationalism, protect atheists who are at risk. Um, Jeffrey saying your argument, Armin, your argument lacks a subtle, uh, su subtlety, so a sub, yeah, okay. You are right in theory, but you're generalizing the worst of a group to the entirety of a group. Okay, so to be fair, yeah, um, I mean, actually, no, because uh, most of the group was in that group is like has gone woke, right? I'm not sure, but I, I don't mean to generalize the entire group. Uh, obviously, the LGBT rights movement is very important, and most of most LGBT people are, have not gone woke. Um, so if I'm, I don't mean to generalize, uh, so thank you for holding me. I think, uh, I think he can that. also mean it this way because some people like identify themselves as woke while they are not woke as per your standards. Oh yeah. So. Okay. So by the way, when I, when we're using woke, we mean something else than self-identifying woke people use, usually use, right? So maybe that, that's the, we're using different definitions, right? Uh, P2020 saying the usual guilt you know, by association. Like terms. 
No, people people who follow us know what they mean, what we mean by what. Um, P twenty twenty saying the usual guilt by association change blood cancel thingy. Yeah, but also I wanted to say, Michael Cheryl, like yeah, we have. So it's important for us to for people to recognize that we have not. We are woke again. Atheist Republic is woke free. Go spread the words. Atheist Republic as of. This week, Atheist Republic is woke free and will remain woke free. This was like this was a, such a great gift. Like I was so happy. I was like, we got our baby back. We got our like the eighty thousand member group. We got it back. Like we gave up a two thousand member group and we freed our eighty thousand member group. This was such a worthy trade. So go spread the word, everybody. Atheist Republic is a woke free. We're not just a religion free organization we're also a woke free organization rifka i was just gonna say we're not just atheists who give a shit we're also atheists who are woke free we're woke. we should make that into our slogan the only the only well actually um well the only the only woke free atheist group that counts there are there are some other small tiny ones there atheists for liberty and i don't know AAI the only is still, woke free atheist group that gives the a shit <laughs> that matters that matters that matters <laughs> marseille the idiots actually believe they're continuing the work of civil rights where they where they're really tearing it down yes this is perfect summary by mars uh susanna is getting more and more pixely by the minute i don't know what's happening uh i i, I, to... I wanted to mention one comment from screenshots i sent you okay uh because this is like ridiculous. Uh, there's this person saying, this is why secular humanism is a better guiding philosophy than just atheism. Like, dude, atheism is not a philosophy. Yes. Anyway, I think all four of us here are secular humanists, I think. Yes. yes. So like this is probably an atheist because this that is an atheist group. So this atheist doesn't know what atheism is. Atheism is not a freaking philosophy. It's just a lack of belief. Mm. And most, I don't know most, but many atheists, like all of us and in uh, other atheists, usually go with the philosophy of secular humanism. Anyway, mm. so. But guys, there was another post that they 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 really didn't like. Do you guys know? Um, I maybe we what should. It was. Yeah, can can you send me a link to that? Because we need to be fair. Because maybe people, maybe if we share it with the people here, uh, they will be like, "Oh yeah, okay, not army." Now I see their point. Hold on, maybe. Uh, maybe oh no, Armin. I can explain what it is as I'm looking for it. Um, uh, so no, no, basically, I am, okay. I am okay. actually curious about why he got accused but, of transport. No, no. Let, let's okay. Sorry, let Susanna. Uh, let Susanna finish. Go on, go on. So, in the post that Kyle made about um, politically motivated homicide, that really confused me. Um, I think they may be referring to. Um, a post that um, it's it's a chart. Wait, I'm gonna send it in the private chat of this stream yard. Okay, Armin, look in the private chat of the screen stream yard. Um, okay. Saying like, oh, when you hear someone is a commie, like you automatically become like authoritarian, right? Um, which Wait, I think. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me bring about. it up. Let me bring it up. Let me see. Maybe people will turn on me and this and this and people are like. Oh, now I see their point. Okay. Uh, You're talking about those little tests where they have. No, this yeah, one. Yeah, that's exactly the square test where it says you're authoritarian. No, no, but I knew exactly what you were talking about. Okay, but this is this is the this is the joke. Okay, this pissed off a ton of people. A ton of people. It's so it's amazing. So basically, what it says <laughs> here. What? Is that a helicopter that's in the the middle blue quadrant? Yeah. So yes, it is. So basically, what it is is that me. This is me, libertarian right. Um, and then you move all the way to the top right. This is me when I see a goddamn commie, right? So this is just a funny joke to say. Basically, you're saying you're. Um, libertarian, like somebody saying that they are libertarian, right? Um, so they're for freedom of speech, for everything, they're tolerant, but they all of a sudden become authoritarian. Their red line is basically communists, they become authoritarian when they see communists, right? And 
it's a joke, right? It's obviously a joke. But these people were like, hold on, let me see the, some of their comments. Mm, you could easily work. replace when I see a goddamn commie with me when I see somebody eating pi pi pineapple on pizza. Like, I mean, the it. It, that's all it is. It's a personal thing that makes it's a joke. It's yeah. So yeah. So see here. So by the way, I think this is what they're referring to when they say we we support homicide. Is that what they're referring to? Okay. Politically motivated homicide. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. So yeah, they basically took a joke and they took it way too seriously, right? Uh, Which is a simple word. Yes, simple of what. But look at the comment section, right? Oof. Uh, by the way. I think the fact that when we posted this, it got a whole bunch of negative reaction. This is this post helped us actually cleanse us from communists as well, because you couldn't have get this many people triggered unless there were commies. Uh, Josh is saying, Oof, they I were expected damn pinko commies." <laughs> Right. Judge is saying, oh, I expected more from this page, considering a majority of people following right wing ideology are religious as well. Um, okay, so yeah, so this person thinks that atheism supp should support the communism, apparently. And then, yeah, we have right wing religious people, we have also right wing atheists. So we don't, unlike some wokey people, we do not just group people into these boxes and think, oh, if you're right wing, you must be religious. So Josh is doing guilt by association, I guess. Um, I mean, I'm not right wing, but uh, I don't think like Josh, though. Robert is saying, don't worry, everybody already knew you were a fascist. So people think, so. It's, it's so it's so ironic that people are so intolerant about it just a, a joke and they calling us the fascists right so these are some memes um people hold on let me see let me see what else people oh people are calling us bootlickers there's this whole bunch of memes yeah wearing a mask um no hold on there was one guy that was so butthurt sober so you became a fascist yeah we posted a joke and people think we're literally saying we're fascist. People actually pointed out some to some people, like, you do realize that this is a joke. Fascism ain't cool, kids. So people actually genuinely thought that this joke of a meme means that we are actually for authoritarianism. That's what they actually think. That's how they read it. Like, they took this seriously. Like, we posted this. They, like, they think we're actually... the the people behind this page are for authoritarianism. And this was like a, some people were saying like, oh, finally the mask slips. This shows what you guys are stand for. So they look at this, like they don't see all of the content and all of the posts and all of the activism that we do for free speech against like authoritarian governments like China, against uh, India's oppression of Muslims, um, a whole bunch of, every time, every time we took a position anywhere was against authoritarianism. But they took this, and this this meme that we posted went viral. It got ratio, like it got, you know, a th a close to a thousand comments of people being butthurt about it, right? And I think this is what triggered Kyle. I, I'm not sure, but I think this meme, this joke, triggered what Kyle, like Kyle, Kyle thought, like, okay, this is it. This is my opportunity. But all he did, he w was he gave us the opportunity to cleanse everything. Um, the Armin Invasion Blueprint, oh, the Darker saying, I guess it's not funny if you actually are a commie. Yes, exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So all the, I mean, every once in a while we have to offend. So this is what we do actually, right? Like, sometimes we see like we have a whole bunch of like far righty people on our back now. Uh, if we criticize Islam f consistently for a while, I would like, we need to make fun of these Alt-right people, far-right far right people, just to make sure that we signal to them what we actually stand for, right? And then every once in a while, we keep fighting for, you know, trans rights, gay rights, left-leaning stuff. And all of a sudden, we see notice, like, we have a whole bunch of commies and woke people on our back, right? We need to make fun of the commies and the woke people just to either shake them off or if they want to stay, they're completely clear about how anti-commie and anti-woke we actually are. Like, just, just making it clear, right? So it seemed like this meme offended enough people, just like we offend, like, far-right people sometimes, and it does the job beautifully. Yes, exactly. We we purified ourselves. Anyways, any opinions on this? I mean, I, I know communists would find that funny, so 
i don't know if even if uh, most communists would be offended by that but i wanted to mention one thing which i told armen already but i thought i should mention it on the live stream which is many of these people in the group right now are saying that armen went on vosh's channel uh, so he had a discussion with vosh about is- islam and other uh, religious issues so they are saying that vosh should have pushed him for his transphobia so that he reveals his transphobia and i have watched some of vosh's videos and from what i know of armin i think armin and vosh are pretty much uh, pretty much have the very uh, same views on most social issues so yeah. armin's view on trans rights and vosh's view on trans rights i don't think they're very different at all no, armin has think- extreme on trans rights he thinks that trans people are going to no, save wait. humanity no yeah okay so a lot of a lot of these people in the in the lgbt group they think i'm ge- i'm personally transphobic yeah and susanna pointed out actually my view on trans rights is very extreme to the opposite direction of they think my views on trans right is too extreme pro trans rights for most left leaning people okay let me tell you so some some right leaning people might actually abandon me right now if i say this i think trans first of all li, li, i think first of all trans men are men trans women are women that's obvious uh, that's not too radical for most people for most left leaning people i think that trans rights movement is one of the most import, important uh, human rights movements of our time okay um They, when it gets extreme with me when it gets radical with me i think the importance of trans rights is way beyond helping trans people i think normalizing people transitioning their gender is going to help us normalize transhumanism right and it's also pushing the funding of the science behind biological changes that people want and that is going to increase eventually funding necessary for transhumanism related issues and i honestly think that the the only hope the one of the main hopes humanity has for survival and progress is transhumanism and i think there's going to be a lot of negative gut reaction to transhumanism and i think trans gender again i i keep wanting to say transgenderism but i think i've heard that people use that in a negative way but so i have to keep saying being transgender i don't know transgender i i'm yeah, so yeah. being being trans is better so being trans normalizing that and funding that and reducing the knee, gut knee jerk gut reaction people have to uh, to changing biology stuff it and making more people accept that for the sake of human rights is going to eventually normalize transhumanism related stuff as well and remove the barriers for transhumanism both financially um scientifically and social and social acceptance to it and that will probably help save us that will probably save humanity so basically what i'm saying is trans people are saving the human race <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> i think trans people are saving us all and that's my view on it Can you actually define that's, what that's the same view is for people who don't know what it is sorry okay um uh, but um so tr- transhumanism transhumanism is basically altering our biology in a way that is better than what nature gave us um you know especially and and that could be changing your heart uh changing other organs in more you know re- replacing it with artificial um th- um things that actually will run better uh, than w- the flawed tools that nature gave us but most importantly altering our brain uh, in a way that maybe eventually one day we could live free from our body um you know and live become live cure cure death at some point uh, all of that could be done through transhumanism Right. But if you Bar- guys don't know, the whole reason why Armin is working out and posting thirst traps on Twitter is so that he can live long enough to transcend his body. <laughs> that's, that's that's like literally true. 
<laughs> Wait, before we continue, I just wanted no. to apologize for our audience for how bad my camera quality is. I've been out of my home here for like over a month and I forgot. Nobody how cares. Was, I'm going to buy cares. a mesh network, okay? Nobody cares. Chopin was going to say somebody agrees with me. Let's hear that. Chopin, what are you saying? No, actually, my view on France flats and transhumanism is exactly the same as Armin, which which actually I didn't expect Armin to go that far, even though I knew he was far enough. But people call me woke for that. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm woke. It doesn't matter. And yeah, that's actually happening happening even right now. For example, the first steps are like people saying trans women sh who want to give birth should have uh, an access to uterus. So hey, pe that's people already here. People are saying that Armin's new religion is Elon Muskism and Eason is saying Elon Musk is working on transhumanism. Hey, I didn't, I, I was saying this kind of stuff way before I knew, I, I, before Elon Musk was talking about this. Um, so You know yeah. what's so interesting though? And maybe this is just a visceral reaction from me. Maybe I haven't thought about it enough. When you're talking about like transcending death and stuff like that, I don't really want to live a lot forever. I don't really think that necessarily getting rid of death, pain and suffering and disease, yes. If we can, because all human beings have that same common enemy, you know, that disease and suffering. And if we can, if we can get rid of those things or at least ameliorate them, then, then we can, you know, that we're, but, you know, that's a fraternity of, of human beings, and I, and I believe in that, and we want to try to do that. But for me, like, my visceral reaction is like, I don't know if that works for me. I mean, because that's sort of how I think a lot of people appreciate what they have is because they know it's limited. Mm -hmm. And also, not that that isn't a... I just... I don't know enough about this. I'm just kind of forming a reaction to what you were saying. Right. And I'm not sure that not dying is somehow better in a way. If you oh, can that's not a, be that's a different or... topic. That's we we should have an entire topic on that. Yeah, that, not dying is definitely better than dying, but we could have a t discussion not on necessarily. That well, I will defend it, but not here, though. Not here, okay? Um, I, I want to uh, defend parts of it, so. But I, yeah, so talk maybe. About this now. We need to focus on this subject. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. no We're... goddamn commies. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, let me be clear. Let me be clear. Commies are welcome here as long as they are. Look, for example, Ethan is a Trump supporter. And he knows that none of us are Trump supporters. And he's, he's still here. He still supports this show. Um, he knows that we're not just Trump supporters. We're anti-Trump. No, we're not just we're not just not Trump. We're just actively anti-Trump. And he, but the thing is that he's here knowing that we are anti-Trump. Okay. But here, look, Daniel is another supporter of our show, and he's a goddamn commie. <laughs> so he's also a paid member. <laughs> Rivka just like, oh, and he's a commie. But he's Daniel is here and he supports the show financially, may I add. But he is not offended by our anti commie position. So, yes, yeah, so see how it works. It's and possible. actually, Daniel, I didn't mean it. Like, Aww. you know, you can be here. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> we only love you if you are subscribed and hit the notification bell. Oh, yeah. That's yes. the only commies we like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I mean, no, no, actually, no, that's not true. There's a lot of Marxists who are firmly against identity politics because they find it to be belonging to the elite and distracting from the true issue, which is class, which I find interesting. I follow a lot of those people. It's interesting point of view. That's why that's why I don't use the term far left anymore, because it's confusing. Right. So. The far when we say far left, we are either talking economically or socially. So we the woke the, the woke people are not all of them are commies, and the commies are not always woke, right? And a lot of the a lot of the commies who I very much disagree with on economical stuff, they actively call out woke crap, right? They also they they call the woke crap out there. Like um, Wash is a communist, for example, but he 
actively calls out woke stuff. Like he calls out anti-white he's racism. An he's an he's anarchist. A, so he's, he's an anarchist. He's an anarcho-communist, but he calls out anti-white racism. So he's not, at least he's not woke, right? Um, but, and also a lot of woke people don't like communists because they consider communists class reductionists, right? They think that communists uh, reduce everything to class and ignore uh, cultural stuff. So they're not the same people, right? So they, they do have a lot of overlap, right? Like this, but they're not the same people. So that's why far left is confusing. I use the woke cult and, co and commies are different. You have uh, anarcho-communists, you have the tankies, you have a whole bunch of other groups God in the God damn tankies. The goddamn tankies. <laughs> well, you know, the thing though that this is really um, illustrates is that People can hold all kinds of different views and you cannot make a broad brush sort of monolithic idea of who these people are. Because we were talking about we have Trump supporters that support our show, that we can have conversations with, that agree with us on some things that we might disagree on. And, and some people who are communists or some people who are believers even who maybe support secular issues. Right. and believe in uh, or want the separation of religion and state. So the point is, I think, and what we're trying to say is that we can have a whole multiplicity of ideas, but when it becomes sort of doctrinaire and right. very religious in its you know, dogma, then it becomes a problem. Right. So, yeah. So, I mean, we, we welcome everybody, even, even, even Muslims, I'm just joking. Anybody here, as long as they understand what we stand for and they, they want to, they still want to be here even after they know what I stand for. So basically not the sensitive snowflakes that can't take disagreements. Right. Um, that's what I'm saying. L read I have Ethan's to go because comment. I smell food. I have to go soon, but let me see. But let's e read Ethan's comment. Yeah. I wanted, that's what I highlighted. Ethan is saying you guys cover a, plurality of information and topics getting out of your own box and participate in discourse is the only way to expand understanding and i get to give an example of a trump supporter wow see not all trump supporters are morons no i'm just joking um but this is ethan is a trump supporter and he's saying that again ethan we will never we will never hold back we will never stop saying how wrong you are but we appreciate you telling us why we are wrong as well. Every time we we crap on Trump, but I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, um, and also Daniel, I was waiting for Daniel to say something. I did say um, what many people would call a cop. Okay, so Daniel is saying that maybe he's he's classified by other people. He's not, not a he's not self-identified. Self-identifying comment. But guys, the food behind me smells really good, and those are some hungry, hungry people behind me that are waiting for me. Well, but, do we have any final comments on the original issue of this group being stolen from us? Because there was a lot of, mm, I would say, misinformation going around around like why this happened, mm -hmm. um, about Armin's intentions or his political positions. But the fact of the matter is, is that these punitive measures were taken because these people stole a group from us, disaffiliated kicked out our mods with no um, consultation with our leadership, right? It, yes. It's and that's the fact of the matter. That's it, why the punitive it's kinda it's kinda like your is like an infected part of your arm that you small part of your body that you're cutting off so that it doesn't infect the rest of the organization <laughs> yes so basically that's how i saw that was like a that was like a small piece of atheist republic that was infected and i'm happy that we cut it's a, it's a loss but it's not a big loss and i'm happy to have lost it cut it off especially given that it gave us the excuse to get our baby gem back like that atheist group that private atheist group the 80,000 member one guys go for, join it link is in the description at the very the 10th news you could see it um that one that was our like that was one of our we worked on that for like a decade right more than a decade actually now wow yes it's been a, such a long time and i felt i had i was ready to write that write that group off as woke and gone and now we got it back and we got our baby back and i'm happy so thank you to kyle for finally because i couldn't do do this by myself because i don't do these things without the approval of the other admins unlike some people unlike some people uh, like unlike kyle 
but <laughs> Kyle basically gave me the opportunity to get rid of him and his woke mob is their self they're removing themselves we don't even have to remove them so it's it's great it, it was a good thing that happened so i'm at like good old rage quit um, yeah rage, rage oh, quitting dean is asking a question Bye, felicia <laughs> <laughs> are you going to create a new lgbt consulate so yes we are that's what i'm going to go bother armin to do after he's done eating Nice. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm watching him too because I want. It. But Armin has to be the founder. I want it real. So okay, so Pam, you have a, yeah, you can be. So Pam, but you can you have a problem with following uh, legitimate rules in our private group. So you, we. Hey, I, I was an age teenager back then. Okay, I was 19. Okay, fine. Back then, fine, fine, <laughs> fine. All right, guys, I have to go. You're eat. not baiting people into getting them banned. <laughs> <laughs> Um. All right. Uh, oh, so here's the last comment. Armin won. <laughs> Armin won the custody battle over the baby. Uh, will Kyle pay alimony? <laughs> That's good. Uh, finally, this is a member comment, so let's read this. Let's end it with this. The group is fine if Shopham is protected. Saint Susanna stop appropriating a Chinese <laughs> fan, and Rivka's cat makes more appearance. Okay. I would fine. like to say, P, you're racist. This is Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. See ya. See you. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.